I'm definitely not disappointed because, you know, uh, I'm just so grateful to be able to play. I mean, but, um, you know, it's just definitely you have to take a different approach because uh, a lot of their a lot of their big name guys aren't playing. So you just have to find out, you know, uh, what about the other guys? You know, what are these other guys good at? You know, just because you haven't seen as much of them because of the other guys. But, um, you know, I'm definitely excited, you know, for the challenge I am. Playing in the Orange Bowl, we have an opportunity to play a great opponent and you play to win the games. Winning matters. We have a chance to go win a game play a game against a great opponent, and uh, our guys are excited. We're excited as coaches. Yeah, it's not about one game. But, like, that's that's why we're here. That's the main focus. We got to keep the main thing the main thing. Uh, yeah, they had some people opt out, but but they're still Florida State. They're still 13 and up, and uh, we still got to prove that we are who we say we are. Yeah, the way I look at it, at the end of the day, they still got a very talented team. Uh, they got they got guys there who are very talented, very well-coached team. So no matter who lines up for them, uh, it's going to be a good game. Uh, they still have a very good team. So uh, just going in with that mindset, it doesn't matter who plays. Uh, we still want to go out there and, and do our best. Result of all the hard work that goes into it, you know, going 12-1 and one through SEC play is a great accomplishment on its own. Not only people can say that. Um, some teams never go that. Um, but... You know, I think we put on the field what we are. You know, tape doesn't lie, and we just try and be to our standard every single time we go out there. I think it just says, like, the connection we have, really. Uh, you know, the bond that we built with some of these people uh, who may have the opportunity to leave and want to stay and play in their last game for the people that's here. Um, I mean, it just says a lot because, you know, you can always – not saying, like, if you leave, you're selfish, but, like, you can always, you know – I don't want to get hurt. Like, I want to think about myself type deal. Um, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but, uh, I mean, the guys wanting to come back and play with some of the guys, I mean, it says a lot about them. You know, it was definitely um, my decision. Uh, you know, I always just want – I was always just playing on the principle of, like, if I'm able to play, I feel like I should play. You know, I feel like I owe it to my, my teammates, my coaches, and, uh, you know, the fans at UGA and everywhere. I think us as coaches, we're so – locked into our position and I don't I'm not saying in a bad way it's just like you're kind of so tunnel vision on getting your players to do their job at an extremely high level that sometimes you don't see other stuff that's going on um I'll say this I think Carson Beck's had an unbelievable bull prep obviously just just some of the things he's done in practice some of the throws he's made everybody knows he's a very talented passer of the football but some throws he's made this camp this, this bowl camp has been like wow this dude's elite man and we knew that but if, if, if to answer your question, I'm gonna say Carson because just some of the, some of the throws he's made have been been unreal. You no, know, it's a it's a privilege to play here at inside back one. If you uh, play inside back here, you deserve to be there. For, uh, for to be the best linebackers in the country, you know, the University of Georgia is the best place to be. Um, you know, being able to learn the scheme and being able to you know learn everybody's position at once. You know, this is a great opportunity for you to uh, do his best. You know, learn the defense, playing defense. You, know, you gotta just not know your spot. You gotta know everybody's spot. Be a linebacker, and you know, just taking those and watching film during the times that you need to. You know, it's just an important thing they do to get linebacker. I think the speed at which I play the game uh, has definitely has definitely increased. Um, I'm able to move around a lot faster, get from point A to point B where I need to be, um, and just fly around. I call myself a uh, HLB, a hybrid linebacker, uh, just being able to bounce back and forth to inside and outside backers. So I, I just, I think it's cool just to be able to do it. You know, a lot of guys really uh, don't get the opportunity to do it because of the body type or physicality or things of that sort. So the guys who've done it before, you know, Quay Walker, Chan Tindall, uh, being a traditional edge, you know, going throughout high school and then being, moving an inside backer, uh, you know, it's just a great thing to see, to see their journey as well and, you know, following up for mine. I think he's really embraced his role, you know, as that guy moving forward and, you know, he, you know, Oscar, extremely talented, different than Brock. I mean, you know, and everybody's going to try to compare the tight ends to Brock, but there's not going to be another Brock, and I don't want him to be another Brock. I want Oscar to be Oscar, right? And I want Lawson to be Lawson, and, and so on and so forth. But he, uh, you know, Oscar's had to mature a lot, okay? And I think with Brock's injury, it happened probably a little faster than he had thought, but that's good for us. That's good for our room. It's good for our offense. It's good for our team, and – Oscar has shown that. His preparation has been very diligent. He, he's worked very hard. He's kind of really stepped up. And, and knowing that Brock's absence, that, that our offense still needs him, our offense is predicated on on how much we play the tight end and 11 personnel and 12 personnel and the ability to get the ball to those guys and change it up on the defense. And Oscar knows that it's now on him. If, if Brock's available, if he's not available, it's still he plays a large role in our offense. And he's done a great job just from a mental preparation standpoint of 
of taking a larger part of the game plan? I mean, pretty much everybody. You know, everybody's out there running around and competing, and I think that's a big thing. Uh, most of the guys, all the guys that came in in this class is very competitive, and I think to be in that locker room, you have to be very competitive. So just to see, as another competitor, to watch them go out there and compete this early, I mean, it's, it's, I love it. They're here for a reason, and I, I, they're really mature. They go about their business the right way. I know that when you, when you have faith in how people prepare and do things in addition to their ability, you know that, that they're going to constantly improve. They've improved throughout the year. There's nothing that beats game experience. So as they've gotten more, sometimes they've, they've, they've learned through mistakes. Sometimes they've, they've gained confidence through plays they've made. And I've really, seen, uh, I've really seen a lot of growth in the last couple of weeks, and I'm looking forward to watching them play. It was just, um, it's a game. You know, I love the game of football, so I mean, I just want to be able to play in the game.